The newest and fastest cluster autoscaler in town is Carpenter. It is an open source, flexible and high performance Kubernetes cluster autoscaler built with AWS EKS. In today's video, we are going to focus on the demo of Carpenter. And to do the demo, I have my very good friend Nirmal Mehta, who is a principal container solutions architect from AWS. I have a separate video going over what is the need of Carpenter, uh, what are the advantages and all that stuff. I'm going to give the link up top, so please take a look. But before we jump into the demo, just a quick refresher so that you know what's going on. So a regular cluster autoscaler without Carpenter just spins up a similar EC2 node. So basically EC2 M5 large, it keeps spinning up whenever there is a pod that needs to be scheduled, it spins up. But let's say a new type of workload comes into the cluster and this requires some GPU EC2. Uh, so regular autoscaler will not be able to uh, schedule that pod. And the way around is you have to create a different compute node group uh, so basically you will have a, a node group for M5 large, another node group for GPU and once you do that uh, then another GPU EC2 can come up and GPU workload will get scheduled. Uh, with Carpenter you don't need to create this separate kind of node groups. Not only it can spin up any kind of EC2 without the need of you defining different load node groups but also it can resize the instances. It's not stuck to just EC2 uh, M5 large like previous example, if it makes sense to spin up a, let's say C5 2X large and fit all the pods in there, it can do that as well. So for today's demo, we are going to take it one notch above. We are going to demo Carpenter with spot instances. So we are going to see that a bunch of pods needs to be scheduled, Carpenter gonna kick in, and then it's gonna create a spot EC2 instances, schedule all those pods, and then after a certain point of time, uh, when the workloads are done, we will define a time to leave and those spot EC2 instances will be shut down. Also note how fast it provisions uh, those spot instances. So that's one of the advantage of Carpenter. It's faster than regular cluster autoscaler. All right, without further ado, I'm gonna give it to my friend Nirmal Mehta to do the demo. Hi everyone, I'm Nirmal Mehta and I'm excited for you to join me today for a demonstration of Carpenter. First, I'm gonna show you the code for the cluster. So we're gonna provision an EKS cluster with just one managed node group with one instance. This instance is needed to run the, the Carpenter controller and some of the baseline backend services, core DNS, queue proxy, et cetera. Why don't we move over to the terminal and check out EKS control and spinning up this EKS cluster. So here we have EKS control, create cluster, and I'm going to go ahead and specify that cluster config that I just showed you. This is gonna take a little while. I'm going to come back when this cluster is ready to go. While that Kubernetes cluster is coming up, this is a great time to go over a piece of information. 85% of the viewers are not subscribed to my channel. Only 15% of you are subscribed. What's up with that? Let's change that. Click that subscribe button. And while you are at it, click that like button and put a comment in the comment section. Each like, subscribe, comment really helps this channel out. I have a lot of content planned, both Kubernetes, interview preparation, DevOps, serverless, as well as crypto blockchain. Click the subscribe button so that you don't miss any of my videos. All right, back to the demo. All right, and we're back. Uh, let's check out what we have as a cluster. Let's uh, get the nodes. You can see we have a EKS cluster with just one EC2 managed node group instance. Uh, this is where our backend services are running, like I mentioned. We need just one uh, node for for Carpenter controller and all that stuff to run. So we got you know Core DNS, Q Proxy, the AWS node, etc. Running there. So a nice clean new cluster. So the first step we're going to do is we're going to use Helm to install the Carpenter controller. So we'll do we'll we have Helm installed. Uh, so we'll do a add repo. Carpenter. All right, so 
I've already added this repo to to my Helm environment that I'm running here, so good to go. We'll do an update so that we make sure that we have the latest version of Carpenter. All right, here's the Helm upgrade command for installing the Carpenter Helm chart. As you can see, it specifies the URSA, the IAM role for service account, so that Carpenter controller can call the Kubernetes API plus a node instance profile IAM role that allows Carpenter to utilize the AWS API to provision EC2 instances, in this case, EC2 spot instances on our behalf. So we'll go ahead and check the cluster and we can see we have Carpenter up and running now on the cluster. All right, now we have Carpenter up and running on the cluster. The next step is to uh, apply a provisioner to uh, the cluster. This is the Carpenter Provisioner custom resource definition. Let's take a look at what that looks like. So we can see here we're specifying that we would like to use spot instances as the capacity type, uh, limiting the discovery of what nodes are available using this tag. This was the tag that we had in the cluster as well and we're specifying a 30 second time to live after empty. So once there's no more pods running on that node, a 30 second timer will, will start and Carpenter will terminate this node and remove it as a, as a worker node from EKS uh, after 30 seconds. So let's go ahead and install this provisioner on the cluster. So we'll go ahead and do a cube cuddle apply of this provisioner YAML file. So we have a provisioner on the cluster and let's let's test it out. Let's create some pods, some load and see what happens. If it's working, Carpenter will see that there's unscheduled pods in the cluster and will automatically provision a, a spot instance for us to meet that unscheduled pod demand. So let's switch to a load YAML. So we can see here is a simple deployment YAML that uses the pause container image. So it creates some load and uh, we'll go ahead and we'll provision five replicas of this. So why don't I go ahead and provision this. So now we are creating five pods with that pause command. And we can see here that there are the controller, the Carpenter controller sees the unscheduled pods. So waiting for unscheduled pods. Now there's a batch of five pods right here. It's going to call out and use the provisioner and it sees that there there are these this many instance types that can meet that demand. So it picks, picks one of those instance types for the spot instance. It goes ahead and provisions the security groups and provisions that, that node, that spot instance right here. And then it bounds or it schedules those pods on this new node. So we're going to wait for that node to come up. Let's take a look. So you can see it's been 68 seconds since we created those pods, those pause pods. And we can see that there's now a spot instance already provisioned by Carpenter uh, within 68 seconds to take on that load. Let's look at the pods. Here are those pods and they're running. So you can see how fast Carpenter worked to meet the demand that we have for those unscheduled pods. Now, let's see what happens when we don't need that pod anymore or the, that node anymore. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna remove these pods. So let's do a cube control, delete, deployment, inflate, right? So this is gonna remove those pods that are running. And let's take a look at 
the controller logs to see what's going to happen. So we can see that the Carpenter controller sees that there's no more resources needed uh, on that node anymore. And it added that, that 30 second TTL to that node. So now it's been 30 seconds and the Carpenter controller is now deleting that node. So let's take a look at, at our nodes. And you can see that that spot instance is now no longer there. As I've shown you through this demo, you have this new way of provisioning your EKS nodes through this tool called Carpenter. Carpenter, it utilizes a way of looking at the unscheduled pods that you have in your environment and matching them up to the resources and instance types that best meet those needs at that time. So unlike a managed node group where your auto scale group is pinned to a specific instance type or size to meet demand, Carpenter allows you to be a little bit more granular in meeting the demand that you have on your cluster for pods using the right instance type at the right time and also scaling down as needed. I hope this was an interesting demo and you can check out more information on Carpenter at carpenter.sh if you want to try it in your environment. Thank you, Nirmal, for the demo. Uh, please follow Nirmal on LinkedIn, uh, Instagram, and Twitter. I'll give all his links in the description. Also, uh, in another exciting news, I have a separate interview with Nirmal coming up on my channel where I'm going to ask him what topics should you study to get a Kubernetes job, how to get better at Kubernetes, how should you do interview preparation, and lots of other interesting and exciting questions. All right, please uh, click like, subscribe, comments, all that good stuff. That's it for this one. I'll see you guys and girls in the next video. Bye.